So I began um, working around horses when I was 10. And I'm one of the, I, I walk tots, which is cooling out horses, walking alongside them, starting at, at 10. And uh, I couldn't believe they were paying me. I thought it should be the other way around because I enjoyed it so much. And I was one of those lucky people that knew at an early, early age what I liked and what I wanted to do. I know that he himself had a lonely childhood, might be the right word, and um, that was probably the greatest motivator for him to become a volunteer. And he um, wanted to prevent his own experiences uh, by being involved in another boy's life. I first learned about CASA when you made a presentation at uh, a golf course on the east side of Lexington. It was a day of lunch and a day of presentations of volunteer organizations. I had previously tried a few. They were nice, they were good, but they weren't what I was looking for. And uh, when I went to that lunch meeting and you spoke, it was, that's what I need to do. And that's what I did. And uh, I uh, was immediately more satisfied. I became an advocate. I was assigned a 15-year-old boy that had been not abused, but very badly neglected and was not heading for a good outcome. And as part of the program, um, I visited him on a regular basis, reported to a staff member on progress and both his and mine, and uh, take him along in life and hopefully improve, improve his life. My dad first got involved with CASA as a volunteer and his first match was with a high school boy who was really struggling in school and um, had a lot of problems at home. And my dad was with him for three and a half years and helped him um, get through the classroom and graduate from high school with an actual high school diploma and graduate from the program. Uh, as I said, was an advocate first, and then I became a board member. And I didn't know it at the time, but you can't do both. Um, I would have preferred probably to remain an advocate, but I probably could do more meaningful work as a board member. And it's been a terrific ride, exactly what I was looking for, and very, very rewarding. So we um, grew up in for sales in Woodford County, and that's where my dad still lives. And he advocated very obviously to have Woodford be one of your counties. Um, and very personally convinced the new police department to put a an office in their new building and facility so that you all would live rent free in Woodford County. I think probably my dad did enjoy being a volunteer, but felt like his resources and his abilities were probably better suited for your board and felt like he had a greater reach and a greater capacity to really make an impact in the community, not just on one individual's life, but the area as a whole. I couldn't recommend it more. It's very fulfilling. I've met wonderful people, both as advocates and on the board. It's been been a real good thing, one of the best things in my life. He's been a huge part of the horse industry, and I don't know that there's ever really any recognition for a lot of things he has accomplished, but this, um, his involvement in CASA has been a, a really tangible accomplishment that I think he's proud of, and it's, um, it's a really nice honor that he would be recognized for the work and the efforts and the resources and the energy that he's put into this place. He just will express what this organization means and what it does to anybody who listen. Um, and he does, like you said, write letters to people to thank them and to invite them. And he always wants to have a table at the dinner and invite everybody to be there. And, um, he's always excited to be able to help others and to make an impact in the world around him. And, um, sometimes you don't get to recognize people for that, so it's, um, it's nice to be able to do that. And I'm very proud of him and he set a really good example for me and my siblings of how to be 
an outstanding member of our society. It's good to give back, and CASA was exactly what I was looking for. And uh, I'm going to stay, my time is almost up on the board, I'm going to stay as a volunteer and help where I can. I'd like to do it as long as I can do it.